Echo Pro Hawk by Vaporstorm. Not much has been said about this device on YouTube, so here I am. Here are the specs if you want to pause the video. And this is the device. I choose the rock scheme of colors. Here's the battery door. Easily open. And this is the battery I use. There you go. 30Q by Samsung, very popular 18650. Now, the Hawk tank that comes on this device, which comes with a larger capacity bubble glass, is pretty much like a Cerberus tank copy or a clone. I haven't had enough time to um, try and you know alternate parts between them but I will try this later on they are pretty much similar there's the extra coil which is of course it's the Hawk coil one is pre-installed and one is extra. Can be used between 20 to 80 watts, but it's best between 40 and 60 watts. What the Pro stands for is, I guess, the screen and all the functions it has. That's what differentiates between this and the non-Pro version. Um, the original 18, I'm sorry, the A10 drip tip that come, that came on it, I was not a big fan of it. So I opted for this adapter and 510 that I have. Although I do have the Falcon King, the original Falcon King from another device that I use on all my devices and um, it has this nicer 810 drip tip that I can put, in he put on here and it looks better for me but I'd rather leave it on the Falcon later on I will talk about it and look at all that juice deposits that I clean from my devices um, I do suspect that these share a lot in common unlike the Falcon King which the coil is much higher so you cannot alternate coils but anything that is from this line of Vaporesso and Cerberus by Geekvate might actually fit so I'm gonna post an update on that by the way the charger that I use is X-Star PB2S I've been researching for uh, a portable charger for 218650 and this one does the job for me you can also charge your other devices or uh, small small devices or your cell phones. So it's pretty handy. And it has a screen to indicate your battery life and charging status at all times. So it's pretty handy. It's pretty good. I recommend. I highly recommend this one. So... The actual device is pretty light, as we know from 
their popular Puma Dual 18650 and the classic Echo Hawk. So the Pro lets you dial in all the advanced or wattage mode and also temperature control three clicks sorry three clicks and you can switch between power mode uh, nickel TC titanium TC which is temperature control for those who don't know and stainless steel and back to power mode I choose the stainless steel and pay attention to this when you press when you long press to vape to fire it it will show you the actual temperature because I w I'm wasn't sure what material this is made of the Hawk original coil so what I do is I like choose the stainless steel for just, I don't know um, it's like a default choice for me on unknown unknown materials so I put I put stainless steel and I start from very low and you see it's raising up to about just below 100 degrees oh there you go so when you vape it's gonna be lower because it's cooler when you inhale but so you advance and vape on it and see if it's not too cold or not too warm then you adjust I found out that for me from 200 Celsius and above it starts to starts to actually warm up let's check it out 200 C One hundred and eight without inhaling. So do the math. Basically, I can live with it. Back to power mode. Up to let's say fifty. pretty good and uh, anything else the door the battery door is sturdy but it would it would not sustain drops it will fall if you drop it though the device is pretty sturdy and light but for me this is the uh, I don't know the hike device <laughs> And for work, I have this. This is the Aegis um, by the Aegis Mini by Geek Vape. Uh, the battery life is not so uh, is inferior to uh, 18650, which has uh, 3,000 mAh. This has. 2200 mAh but it does the job it's waterproof it's uh, dust proof and shock proof and I use it on my um, landscaping job I do use uh, rubber protection on my glasses and uh, I can switch between the tanks um, the Hawk fits well the Cerberus fits well and also the Falcon King fits very well here though it's uh, a little top heavier than the others but I don't care I don't mind um, I also have the original device for this uh, Falcon the 18650 but it's not as durable as this and that but I do have it and I keep it in my bag it's very nice, very simple, wattage mode, simple. Any questions that you have on this, And uh, please comment below, and I'll do my best. Thank you.